Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is everyone is a teacher. Very often when we imagine, you know, teaching or, you know, having a role, being in front of groups and so on, or, or you receiving a teaching from somebody, we imagine these frames that are relatively limiting. Um, everyone is a teacher. Every person who comes into your life can come with a piece of information or a piece of teaching or a piece of energy or a code or something, some experience that they had that is going to be very precious to you. Sometimes these encounters happen just by coincidence. Sometimes it's really within a group, within a circle. It can be a situation. It can be a, a specific place in nature. It can be a temple that you visit somewhere. It can be a book. It can be a picture. It can be you know, a portal that opens itself when you look at some visionary art. It can be a location, a place. It can be just breathing with somebody looking into that person's eyes. And it can be you uh, teaching somebody and then realize that the other person is teaching you something back. And so um, the, uh, the formats that we have about learning from, from life and that, uh, you know, traditionally is like you want to teach to the world and so you need to have an audience and you need to have a classroom or something equivalent and then you are going to, you know, broadcast or lecture or facilitate some form of, uh, some form of experience. And the thing is that this is only a tiny li limited f uh, way of doing that. I've seen sometimes myself influence people in my life and there was no uh, teacher-student relationship at all. They were not even friends, they were just people passing by on the beach and they see me practicing something and then they go like, oh, interesting what this guy is doing. And then I go back, you know, to the same beach a year or two years later and see these people practicing what I was practicing. So it's all a movement of energy. Sometimes you are going to radiate a message, not necessarily because you have been doing a course about it or anything, but just because you've got something right in your field. It might be a, a joy that you know how to express or a certain communication pattern. It might be uh, just your attitude in general in life, the way you care for, for animals or for people in your life or a certain, you know, certain things that you might be doing that inspire people in your field around you. And uh, so it's good to, you know, let go of the idea that to be a teacher uh, somehow it needs to be within a classroom format. Uh, there are lots of ways to impact and to receive the impact of other human beings and sometimes this this has nothing to do with sitting within <laughs> you know the students uh, the student uh, teacher relationship life all aspects of life every aspect of your day can be uh, a teaching experience so keep that in mind and be always open for people coming into your field and not necessarily not necessarily positioning themselves as mentors or teachers or guides or facilitators but still somehow influencing your life because they come with something that is going to impact in your field and make you realize certain things sometimes they're going to challenge you sometimes they're going to be really nice and loving to you sometimes they might just question you know ask you some questions and that might make, make you realize something deep about yourself everyone is a teacher everything can be your teacher I love you.